ocean currents control our climate by transferring heat and moisture from the water into our atmosphere, thereby influencing temperatures around the world. 12,000 years ago, as the last ice age was ending, the global ocean currents shut down and much of the world slipped back into a deep freeze that lasted for over a thousand years. If the ocean currents shut down today, what would happen to our planet? Could we survive? Global ocean currents, which regulate heat and rainfall around the world, have shut down, unleashing violent changes in the weather on both sides of the Atlantic. Frigid temperatures paralyze much of the northeastern U.S. A year into this catastrophic new weather pattern, the people of New York City now face the wrath. Off the coast, a massive cyclone, twice the size and strength of 2012's Hurricane Sandy, roars inland. Monster winds and waves slam into the Statue of Liberty and then barrel towards shore. A storm twice as powerful as Sandy is not even conceivable. Dams of cars will be created in neighborhoods. Subways will be flooded. This is destruction on a massive scale. 30-foot waves and 100-mile-per-hour winds explode through windows and doors, tearing buildings apart at the seams and dragging people deeper underwater. You have rain, wind, chaos, panic, and disorder all assaulting a city at once. It would be panic in the streets. Some people will be able to survive, but unless you have the resources and you have the wherewithal, you won't. The best thing to do would be to get out. As the effects of the ocean current shutdown spread around the world, no place is immune from this disaster, which has already killed over tens of thousands of people. But these catastrophes are just the beginning. A decade into the disaster, the shutdown of the ocean currents has set off a series of extreme weather disasters across the world, from superstorms and severe drought to massive hurricanes and blizzards. Nearly half a billion people have already died. As the death toll climbs, temperatures continue to plunge in the cold regions of North America and Northern Europe. With warm ocean currents no longer flowing up to the North Atlantic, the surface water remains cold, creating frigid temperatures across Northern Europe, with winters that last for 10 months. Snow falls relentlessly in Germany. The head of the country's busiest seaport once used giant icebreakers to get ships into port. But it's no longer possible to keep up with the deep freeze, and the vital transportation hub shuts down. Delivery of food and other resources grinds to a halt. For people who once took their next meal for granted, like the former head of the Port Authority, finding food for his family becomes a full-time occupation. People suffering from cold weather afflictions like pneumonia and frostbite begin to overrun hospitals. In the American Southwest, a severe drought has ravaged the area. Fire departments can no longer contain the wildfires that continue to burn through cities and states.
Another victim is the Colorado River. It once was the lifeblood of the region, supplying hydroelectric power and providing water for millions of people. Now, it's running dry. If there's no snowpack and no rainfall, the Colorado River starts to dry up. The Colorado River also has a hydroelectric dam. The human condition is dependent on things like electricity and water. You take one of those away and things fall apart. Without water, crops and cattle have long since died off, and people are struggling to hang on. With a lower percentage of Earth's land area receiving ample amounts of rain, you have starvation on the very short horizon. The future of humanity remains uncertain, and the effects of the climate disaster are far from over. You have the prescription for a kind of a dark age, a more violent society if those survivors tried to scramble and hold on to what they've got. This frightening view of the future, with our ocean currents coming to a complete standstill, is based on science from the present. Scientists have been warning that the global ocean conveyor belt may be slowing down. For well over a century, the Earth has been steadily warming. Experts claim 2016 was the hottest year on record for the entire planet. But at the same time, there were also record cold temperatures in the North Atlantic. This suggests that as global warming continues to melt Arctic ice into the sea, this fresh water is making the cold surface currents less salty and dense so that they can't sink. Without this natural process, the world's ocean currents could eventually shut down. We're seeing that right now. That is ongoing. Look at the Greenland ice sheet. It's not only melting more, but it's melting faster. So this is a concern because that then would provide the large amounts of fresh water to the North Atlantic Ocean to cause a shutdown. 